Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7 I'm here to give you guys today a little bit of a different tutorial for you guys today. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to install WordPress locally on your Mac um, using Map. Now, traditionally, if you guys know anything about WordPress, uh, you would traditionally install it on your own server. Uh, usually, you go buy a domain with web hosting from GoDaddy or someplace. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to teach you guys how to install it locally on your Mac, um, so you can test a uh, test your website or build a website without even have to go and buy a server. You can test it and that one more press uh, just like you would on the other server but it's being just stored on your Mac rather right, than on somewhere else uh, hosted by another company. So what you need to do this you're going to need a few uh, things. You're going to need this program right here called MAMP. Um, if you go to MAMP.com I'll have this link down in the description or MAMP.info as it says in Safari. Uh, you have two options. You have MAMP and then you have MAMP Pro. Uh, MAMP Pro is a I think uh, as a pay program, I think it costs a couple dollars, but um, I don't really like it because I'm just doing this for uh, setting up um, a server. So I don't really recommend that. If you guys want to try, I think just a free trial. You guys can uh, download it. If you guys like it, you can buy it. But I think MAMP, uh, the free version, works fine as well. So you're gonna need to download this. It's a pretty big file. It's gonna take a few minutes to download. Um, you're gonna need to install that, run the package file. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get uh, WordPress. Now I have WordPress already here on my desktop. And you can get this on WordPress.org. I just need to Google WordPress. It's probably the first link that comes up. And I'll have a link to get this in the description as well. So once we have that set up, uh, we're going to go to the Finder. Um, we're also going to navigate to our Applications folder. Uh, we're going to scroll until we find MAMP. Now, if you get the MAMP Pro folder, like I said, it is a free trial. You guys can choose to install it if you want. I'm going to stick with regular MAMP for this one. Um, so you open the MAMP folder. Now, you have all these files right here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to open this folder called htdocs. Now, this will be blurred out or some of the things I have in here will be blacked out um, depending on what you're using it for. But um, you won't have anything in this folder. This folder will be blank. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a new folder. And now I'm just going to call this, um, let's call it WordPress. If I could spell here. Uh, I'm just going to put TUT because this is a tutorial video. So after that's done, we're going to open up that folder. We're also going to open up our WordPress folder. Now what we're going to do here is make sure you have both windows in view. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste all these files from the WordPress folder down to our new folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, uh, we're going to choose copy. We're going to go back to our new folder that, or wherever you named your folder. Like I said, mine is WordPress tutorial, but you, wherever you named your website or wherever you name it, um, just paste these files in. Now, if you're going to be doing multiple WordPress websites, I do recommend saving this folder on a different hard drive or throwing out a flash drive someplace because it does come in handy um, because you don't need to go and download WordPress if you're off-site and you don't have internet. Uh, you can always uh, have a copy of WordPress um, with you. So pretty much after that's done, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back a folder, actually two folders rather, and open up the MAMP program. Now basically what's going to do is you're going to have all these uh, things right here. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, start servers. And what's going to do is going to start our Apache server and our MySQL server. And this is pretty generic right here. This is basically all the information telling us that MAMP is working fine on our computer. And um, what you're going to do is that once this is run, you can access your WordPress at any time. So what I like to do to make things a little bit easier for us is I like to just um, go back um, here into this folder and click on PHP my admin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a database for our WordPress. So we're gonna go to here, you're gonna hit databases, you're gonna create a new database. I'm just gonna call this uh, WordPress TUT. Uh, that's fine. Uh, make sure you have this uh, typed out exactly as you want it because you're gonna need to input that information in later. So make sure you save this someplace or just make sure you know the name of it. So after that's done, hit create. And after that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top of URL bar in our web browser. And we're going to go back until we have a localhost colon dot eight. And we're going to hit this over hit enter. It's going to bring us our, into our map uh, root directory. And we're going to click on a root uh, WordPress tutorial. Uh, you might just have only one, as you can see, I have two more, but they're probably going to be blacked out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, enter or click on the first one. And what we're going to do is it says there's, there's going to be a PHP 
uh, WP, uh, WP config PHP file. Uh, we need to create this before we get started, so we're gonna hit create, PHP, uh, create file. Uh, let's go. Now our database name is pretty simple. Uh, we just call it WordPress uh, TUT, but you can call this wherever you want. The username for um, generic for everybody, you can create your own username, but I find it's much easier to just do root as our username and root as our password. Uh, the database host, if you're traditionally installing this on a different server such as GoDaddy, uh, you would need to create your own uh, database name and username and stuff like this for this part. Uh, they pretty much give that to you like, when you sign up, but since we're just doing this locally on our computer, uh, the generic thing is root and root for the password. Uh, for the da database host, it would be localhost because we're doing this locally. If you're, Again, if you're doing this on the GoDaddy server, uh, they would give you the um, host name or the IP address for that um, server so you can install WordPress. And the table prefix, uh, what this basically is, I've seen a lot of other videos do the same thing, do this tutorial, but they don't really mention what this does. The table prefix, it means that you can have multiple WordPress installations in a single database. So I can create uh, di different tables inside this database named WordPress TUT. And I can make one for uh, WordPress videos, WordPress blog, uh, uh, commerce, you know, whatever I have. If I want to have multiple different WordPress sites in our database, this is what you would use uh, the table prefix for. Since we're all doing one WordPress um, site, we're just going to leave it the way it is. So then we're going to hit submit. Then it says, all right, Sparky, we're ready to go. And then we're going to hit run the install. Now name your site, um, I'm just going to call this um, Apple, uh, let me do it this way, Apple Gamer 24-7. Uh, the username you can leave an admin, I traditionally do, I create a password, um, I'm just going to call this uh, Apple123. Uh, you guys can name that where you want, uh, enter in an email address. Um, this will probably be blurred out as well, so you guys don't see this. I'm just gonna let auto fill. There we go. Um, you can leave auto uh, allow search engines to index this website. It won't actually happen because this is uh, locally. So then, after all this is filled in, hit install WordPress. And then it says, All right, success, WordPress has been installed. Log in. Then we're gonna um, log in using the username or password we just created. So we're just gonna do admin and our password and here we are in our wordpress website now uh, this is basically what this tutorial stops but if you guys want me to continue this series on wordpress i can teach you guys how to install themes how to get plugins working how to um, turn on how to turn on a static page if you guys are interested in more wordpress tutorials just leave them down below and i will see you guys in the next video